The word jihad is mentioned in the Quran about 41 times. The words mercy, peace and compassion are mentioned about 355 times. Yes, come in. Come on in, Riaz. Sit down, please. Contrary to popular belief in most Western cultures, Islam is a religion that preaches peace and tolerance. Yes, Patricia. If Islam truly is a religion that preaches peace, then how come the world's most troubled spots, you know, the West Bank, Afghanistan, Pakistan, Iraq, they're all plagued with Islamic terrorism? Well, that depends on your definition of terrorism. Some might argue that the U.S. invasions of countries like Iraq and Afghanistan are also acts of terrorism. No, those were acts of war to get rid of despotic regimes. Or means of getting out of country's oil. Conspiracy theories. Well, may I? Yes, please. Go ahead, Riaz. Mr. Khan is right. I mean, if we're talking about terrorists, the world's biggest terrorists are the white superpowers. Come on now. No, really. Stop and think about it. Explain 9-11. Okay. Do you know how many people died in the Twin Tower strike? Around 3,000. And do you have any idea how many people died in the bombing on Afghanistan? Take a wild guess. More than 15,000 people died. And that's just conservative figures. About 50,000 tons of explosives were dropped on innocent civilians. Men, women, children. Yeah, but that was because of the Taliban. Now that you brought it up, did you know that the Taliban was a creation of the CIA? To fight the Russians. Whatever. They were still harboring terrorists. Yeah, right. Terrorists that were never found. Just like the weapons of mass destruction that were never found in Iraq. Do you want to get into the death toll in Iraq? 500,000 civilians and counting. And what do Britain and America say when they don't find these weapons? It's simple. They just say sorry. And still refuse to relinquish control of these countries. What are you trying to say? What I'm trying to say is that just because you're American, wear a fancy suit, and call yourself the president, doesn't make you any less of a terrorist. I'm saying that if you don't stop meddling in other people's countries, you will face a backlash. If Muslims like you feel that way, then why don't you get out of our country? We will. As soon as you promise to leave ours.